Psalms 131 verse 1. 131 verse 1. Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty. Neither do I exercise myself in great matters or in things too high for me. A comment is a spoken remark. People say remarks about your church planting attempt. People will say and make comment when planting churches. Why are they starting churches? Don't we have enough churches already? It's not by the number of churches in a city. It's by the number of more Christians that we have. Why are they starting more branches? So people make comment. Are we together? Why are you starting a business? People will make comment anytime you are doing something. Never forget that. It must be at the back of your heart. Number two. People denigrate and mock church planters and missionaries. When you are a church planters, people mock you by making such statements. You see, the messages I'm pre preaching in this conference, many of us, when you pick it one year from now, you will understand it more. <laughs> Hallelujah. You will appreciate it more. But that is why we are putting it on record. So people will mock you when you are planting a church. Because planting a church is not easy. Hallelujah. So they mock you by their comment. Most comments can affect you if you are not trained. The truth is that all of us are affected by comment. But when you are trained, you will learn how to master comment. Hallelujah. When you are trained, you will learn how to master comment. And the good thing is that many people are good at talking and not doing anything. Somebody that does not go on evangelism will be, will be, will be making comment on evangelism. But this, I, 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 all of us know that when we go to preach, the person we are going to preach who is sitting down and drinking alcohol is the one preaching to us. But that is not the way to preach Jesus Christ. When you go to preach to people. <laughs> so since you know, why are you not preaching? I think that mean. Since you know, many people that don't have a church will go on Facebook, letter to all the pastors in Nigeria. As a pastor, you must be doing this. If you know better, why don't you start a church? So many people that don't know are the ones that are professional talkers. People that have never started anything new in their life, nothing new, are the ones that talk and make comments. So I am arming us against comments. See, when you are starting a business, people will make comments. Why don't you get a job? Why, 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 why is that a business? You no, know, one of us told me about her business. You see, once I hear one of the first things that attracted me to Sadi was his business. The first. It was Pastor Min that told me that somebody in the house, one couple he has passed out, it was the business he's doing. It's the business he's doing. And then somebody, uh, one Pastor Min was telling me, somebody else was making a negative comment about it. I said, look at the skeptical. quiet. I know you're, you're, you're just serving. You don't understand life yet. But I just kept quiet. I said, I want to see him. He said, I want to see him. So I spoke to him. I told him, tell him I want to see him. The first thing that attracted me to him was his, his attitude toward life. People that have not started anything can make comments. Can say things they have never experienced. Hallelujah. I say, copper, you are doing this. Ah, oh, no. All right. Because you have, top, you, have, you, have, you have written your vision in A4 and colored it. <laughs> and it's on your laptop on PowerPoint. After two years, I will have started my company. After four years, I will have registered it. it will have become a, I will have opened 17 branches. By the fifth year, we'll have brought out in England and Germany. And then, <laughs> all right. Then, two years after NYC, you're, you're yawning in the morning. Hunger will finish you. You're, you, will, you will respect people. Me, at this wedding, there's not enough food. My wedding. When it's time for my wedding, people will eat and carry. I mean, I don't like this kind of wedding gown. There's not me. My wedding gown is the one. You okay? You okay? You can talk, my brother. Look at the way they came and paid her dowry. You know, a sister from the church came and told me that she didn't like the way her sister's wedding was. I was, I felt wrong, angry. I said, come immediately for counseling. Immediately. She said, never comment if you are not married yet. Don't come make a comment. Never. Say, this man, ah, look at his wedding. Look at the car. He used to carry his wife. He cannot even go and get it. Okay, no, wait, I'm married. By the time you pay dowry, you forget anything that they used to carry bride. You never organize car. <laughs> By 
Every time you are first wahala of in-laws, you don't even remember. You wear native on top suit. Because <laughs> your mind has gone. People that have married respect. Yeah, like I know Pastor Ibn is respecting me more now. Yes, like your level of respect for me has increased. Yes, when they gave him the list, Charlie is my clear. <laughs> All of that, the, the respect will increase. Hmm. Your sister's like so people that have not done it. You have never started it. You have never gathered five people. And say, okay, open your Bible. And then they'll come again next Sunday. And then they come on Wednesday. You have never done it. All you have is bandwidth and Facebook account. And then you are right. <laughs> From a wealth of experience. <laughs> I'm telling you, from my, after five years of ministry, on Facebook ministry, So people talk. I'm just I'm not so that you will learn. Are we together? So that as they don't be moved. All these small small boys starting churches. How was when do not when do not started? How how was he? Our uh, young. When you see the picture, young. When you see their wedding day. When people believe you, they started twenty six. On his wedding day, the person that would join the wedding came late. When Bishop Ede would say, "You go and start the service on time." Go and start. He was the one that like that. Your own wedding. Yeah. So somebody that doesn't know the difference between A, B, C will be making comment on things that are higher than him. You have never said that, you have never sold anything in your life. And you are insulting somebody that is selling something. Somebody, somebody that, is, that has a lot of money, I know, in cash, not by faith. Was posting when he said, Come and buy what I sell, fish. And if somebody is telling you are selling fish, and you mean like at your level, we are selling fish. Don't go there selling salt. Don't go there. What does it? Salt, two fifty. He's selling it. <laughs> you, how much do you have? Think about it. how much do you have. I should be ashamed. So don't be. Let from today. The last time you come and move, you will be the last. After this message, Hallelujah. Now, there are people that receive comment in the Bible. The first was Elisha. By the prophet in Second Kings chapter two, verse three to five, Elisha was following Elijah. Ah, and then they said, "Don't you know your prophet is about to go?" And the son of the prophet that we are there at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, "No one's doubt that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today." And he said, "I know it. What? Hold your peace." Pastors, I don't know. Has anybody ever made a bad comment that you are following me? Has anybody? Yeah, if somebody has not made, I'll be shocked. Has nobody made a comment before? Thousands of comments. Has reached 1,000. 1,000 likes. You have 1,000 likes already. Oh boy, I'm anointed. <laughs> People make comments. The guy you are following. Okay, tell me this. I got all of you are young people. Like, okay, okay. Like, useless, abysmal comments. Don't you know your mother? And let us say, I know all your peace. Come on now together. I'll be shocked if somebody does not make a comment. I know people will be making comment by now. Congratulations, you are not soldiers. <laughs> Hallelujah. Number two, Job. His wife made a comment to him when he was facing his problem in Job chapter 2, verse 9. She said, Why don't you curse God and die? What your wife? Don't forget the revelation I share you in the scripture that God, the Bible says. God took the important things in the life of Job. So when you find his wife still alive, that means she was useless. <laughs> Do you understand what I mean? Like, the devil came and took his cattle, took his sheep, took his children, and left the wife. <laughs> because even the devil knew that this one is useless. Even the devil himself knew that this one is useless. He caused God and died. That was a comment you are making to a sick husband with bruises. Every that was the comment you are making. What a shock. Ah. Number three, Jesus, the Pharisees came and made a comment to him about what in John chapter 8, verse 6. Number four, the, the disciple of John the Baptist came and made a comment in John chapter 3, verse 25. He said that they were trying to compare him with Jesus Christ. And then he responded appropriately. Elisha, 
A servant of the king in 2 Kings 17 verse 18 to 20. When Elisha said, by tomorrow there will be food and abundance. A cat, something will be sold for something. Let me look at that. 2 Kings 17 verse 18. Therefore, the Lord was very angry with Israel and removed them out of the king. Hallelujah. Elisha. Okay, let's look at 1 Kings 17. No, Elisha is 2 Kings. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, the Elisha gave the prophecy and said, there will not be there will be abundance okay so actually second king 7 18 second king 7 18 not 17 second king 7 18 and it came to pass as the man of god has spoken to the king saying two meters of barley for a shekel and a measure of fine flour for a shekel shall be tomorrow about this time in the gate of shamaria and then the Lord answered the man of God. That is, the man was making a comment on the prophecy of Elisha. Hallelujah. And that the Lord answered the man of God and said, Now behold, if the Lord should make windows in heaven, my source thing be. And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thy eyes, but shall not eat thereof. So like you stand here and prophesy and say, By this time, before the end of this year, somebody will become a millionaire. And somebody will be making a comment. How, how, Apostle, please let's be serious. Hallelujah. So people make comment over things they don't understand. A thief by the side of Jesus Christ also made a comment in Luke 23, verse 40 to 43. They kill yourself if you are truly Jesus Christ. You are a thief. And you are commenting on a righteous man. Apostle also got a comment by the Corinthian church and did. The wife of David also made a comment to him in 2, Kings, 2 Samuel 6, verse 16 to 20. Now, I want to give you four characteristics of commentators people that make comments number one is that they are used by evil spirit to frustrate the man of god and the work is unto and Luke chapter 4 verse 1 to 18 all through that scripture was the devil tempting jesus making comment about the bible and tempting him to do certain things when people make certain comment they are used by demons hallelujah Angels and the Holy Spirit encourage every bad negative comment is bad. You see, there is nothing like constructive criticism. Are you in this together? Somebody insulted Khan and then insulted my father and Lord on Facebook. Honey. The mistake was he did it close to my wall. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> After I answered him properly, answered him properly, answered him properly, answered him properly. He now switched it and said that, but oh, you are you are junior, you are my junior age. Why are you talking like this? He said that I'm a kind of person that likes pushing people to their end to discover their others. And I said, We don't want you to push us, we don't want it. Consulting criticism is like you mocking a blind man that he cannot see. The man is blind, and then you are, you, are, you are constructively criticizing him. Because we know that we have deficiency. It's like trying to criticize a man that don't have a child. There's nothing constructive about criticism. Nothing. Hallelujah. Nothing. You can analyze and then make it. But when you, when you use the word criticism, it's negative. Praise God. Oh, you're not understanding my message. Yeah. So they are used by demons to frustrate the man of God. But ah, there is no dead people. Re, re, people are not the dead people are not coming back to life. Like, I'm actually not. I want to constructively make you preach better. You preach better, I will learn. If you are preaching better, I will be listening to your message. If I'm not listening to your message, that means you're not preaching better. Hallelujah. So they are used by evil spirit to frustrate you. Number two, they are busy bodies and lazy talkers. In 2 Kings 2, verse 5 to 8, the prophet were sitting down while Elisha was the one following Elijah. They, they are following, they are busy bodies, lazy, sitting down while Elisha was following Elijah, lazy and talking. 
busy bodies and lazy talkers. That is their character. Hallelujah. They, have never, they will never go and win a soul. They will never plant churches. They will not do it. Hi. Praise God. That is why I always encourage all the people in the church, especially people that are planted, to join the department. Because when you join the department, you will not say certain things again. There are certain things you will never make comment again. Because the more you are into something, you understand it's not easy. It's not. If you are a preacher, you will not criticize preaching. No, never. Hallelujah. So busy bodies, their, their character is laziness. It's because you have enough time. There are people that can sit down on their phone and be on the internet for five hours. If I'm on the internet for five hours, how many times of my life do I have? But because you have time, ah, let me hear what they say. It has scattered the apostle Joseph Slay man has what if this man of God is marrying one of his boys? Ah, 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 let's go and see. Go and watch that one. Because when they want to hand over each other, his child. Hey, hey, you go. You are busy bodies. If you have something doing, you will focus. Lazy, not doing anything. So you have a lot to make a comment and make a comment. Church is not family business. Church is not family business. Church is not family business. If you have ever planted a church, you, that people saying that kind of thing, if you plant a church, he will write a constitution. The first, my firstborn is the next one. He will write it, that kind of person. See, let me tell you something about people. What they don't have, they fight it. Many people insulting prophet, they too, they have tried to prophesy. And it didn't work. Yeah. Why are you telling me my name? Don't I know my name? All of them, they'll be deceiving you. They'll be telling you your name. Don't you know your name? That's what they say. That's the comment they are making. They are calling phone numbers. Don't I know my phone numbers? That person has tried it. Your name is Judith. No, my name is Jessica. <laughs> like, okay. I can see that from your family. <laughs> I can see that your family, they don't have, they don't have children. <laughs> no, no, no. My brother impregnated five girls. <laughs> like, 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 all the prophets are not working. Then the guy will become angry. You become bitter on all the prophets that their own is working. Your name is Jessica. Yeah, my name is Jessica. Your brother is, is yes, it's true, it's true. Yeah, you're right, man of God. They'll say, no, 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 Charlie. But don't you, yeah, they, most of them they have attended it. And it's not working. Hallelujah. Yes. So, laziness, not doing anything. And then number three, the talk is commentators are ignorant and foolish. Like that man that was saying, even if the heavens open, it will not happen. It's because of the level of ignorance he has. Because Elisha that knew God knew that it will happen and it did not happen. It happened. It happened. It happened. I know all those services when I was saying some of us will become millionaires and I was praying up and down. I know there are people in those services that will be laughing. It's not happening. Yeah. And more are happening in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Because I know God can make it happen. It doesn't take a joke. Yes. When myself and Pastor Eben prayed that God is going to give us a car by May of this year, there was no money in the church account. 15,000 dollars was not there. But we held our hands and prayed in faith. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We said May. God gave us in January. We, God can do it. Like, it's not like I'm prophesying to you now in the name of Jesus Christ before December is over. Your life has opened up supernaturally. Do you believe it? Come on, do you believe that you will count your effect zero before the end of this year? According to your faith in the name of Jesus Christ. A breakthrough, like a, a net breaking breakthrough. Believe it in the name of Jesus. And you will test and handle it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You can take your seat. I have faith that God can do it. I believe it. I have seen God furnish a table in the wilderness. I've seen God provide for this church. He rent in it. In, in one week, when we moved in this place, we came and stood in this window, look at this place, we are moving here. When there was Shingbai in our pocket, nothing. <laughs> we said, we, we held our hand in that window. Three of us, myself, Pastor Eben, our first lady, we are praying. I said, this place, we, we, we were even discussing where the altar will be. They told them, we are saying the altar will be here. I said, no, because of these pillars, people that don't have money, you. <laughs> people that don't have money calculating where the altar will be. Say so no, they say here. I say no, because this place is not working. It will be better we put it here because the door is here. On that window, because they don't open the door. We are looking from that window. On that, that window, then we held our hand and said, Lord, give it to us. 
how much the rent the man said 300,000 era. If you carry the four of us that are me, her, Pastor Mini, and First Lady, you carry us up and lock on the ground. <laughs> Empty your pocket. <laughs> 50,000 era will not come at that time. That, when we said that, it won't come out. Yeah. But God provided it with extra, he provided times four of that. I believe in God. I believe in miracles. So when people make certain comments, they don't know. When we say that tomorrow we'll be flying jet. No, I, I've not said that anyway. Because God has not told me anything. But when I say tomorrow we'll be flying. <laughs> when I say tomorrow we'll be flying, believe it. Come on, all together. By next year, by the next two years, when we are having our matured mind conference, it may be in Lagos. One in Lagos, and then just after that one, and then please, 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 I, I, I'll be in Abuja by 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 nine a.m. Please wait for me at the airport to wait for me. Our pastors Abuja will be there waiting for me there. Nine a.m. Please, this guy he came to big me. Is he okay? Is it is it government censored? Like, I'll be suspecting the car because I, by that I, I like I, I believe it. though you're not believing me. Me, I believe it. Yeah. I believe that one day a country Bishop Doug said when he's holding his ministers' conference. People chattered airplane the way we chatter bus. And come, yeah, chattered airplane from Kenya, America. They, they hold like steam or paddle with chattered airplane and come for ministers' conference. And I said, I believe it. I want it. I want it. One day, very soon, like my father in law will be counting the nations that are present in our majority man conference. Those of you from Kenya, how many people we have? 15 people from Kenya. Can you send another word to the people? Uh, how many people from Ethiopia? We have 17 people. Ethiopia, stand up and shout. Hey, how many people are here from France? France, France. 34. Wow. I believe it. You don't believe it. Now we are celebrating people from Mongolia and I'm um, okay. Very soon. <laughs> hey, I believe it. I know what God can do. Yeah. So don't make comment out of foolishness. Number four, people make comment out of pride and ignorance. The thief on the grave was making a comment out of prayer. You are a thief, a leche, a buruku. Instead of repenting, they are making a comment of Jesus Christ. So you say you are Jesus Christ, save yourself. But their pride will not allow them. Number five, people make comment out of selfishness and insensitivity, like the wife of Job. She was insensitive to the dilemma of the man. Praise God. See, let me tell you something. When you find out that sometimes the person deserves what he has, still don't make a comment negative. Let's say the lady has done 13 abortions and she has lost her womb. Never, still, don't make a negative comment. Are we together? Yeah. Even if Job deserves what he has, don't be insensitive. There should be some humanity in you. There are some things you just don't see. Don't see. When you hear that the person is an Arab band, no, no matter what it is, just don't make even if you know that it's, 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 it's wrong. Some comments should, you should be there should be some sensitivity in you. Come on, all together. But the woman in the hospital suffering this whole life, ah, but she was she was the one that did it. You don't blame a victim of something in the midst of the pain. At least wait till when the pain is over. But when the person is in the midst of the pain, no, don't don't say something, don't be insensitive and make certain comments. It's not correct. So people with character of, of you know, they are insensitive and selfish. Because like a young pastor starting a church with, with fledgling attendance. Today, five people, tomorrow, two people, tomorrow, one person, yeah, the one coming and say, ah, but, but it shows that it's two years should be hoping to be hoping, having overflow. Because somebody told me that. That is being insensitive. Hallelujah. Yeah. So competition and comparison are, are, are the character of people that make comments. And then finally, they make comment out of jealousy and envy. Not every comment is, is the, some of them, the, the comment is out of jealousy and envy. The person is not in a relationship, but the one in a relationship, they are making comment about it. But this guy is not calling, like my friend wanted to marry, and he was a secondary school teacher with Katuna State Government. And then the, the, the sister of the bride wanted to marry. You can, why, why are you running to? Can't you wait for a man? You have seen a teacher you want to kill yourself upon. How much does he have? How much is his salary? That is her sister. But the young girl refused and said, no, I want to marry him like that. And then they are married. The other ones are waiting for man. As I'm preaching, they are waiting for the man. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. 
Zach, they, they, the sister of that one that were making comments. You have seen teacher, want to kill yourself. Yeah. That was the same thing some people told my wife. That you, as a lady, you need to taste, you have seen one man want to kill yourself on the person. Yeah. So people have out of jealousy and envy and they make certain comments. Because they are not bold enough to make the move you have made. They, are, they, will, they, will, they will be making certain comments. Hallelujah. Now, how do you understand the characters of people that make comment at all? When you see them, you know them, right? Now, the motive of commentators, their motive, number one, is to create doubt and question in your heart about your conviction and faith. They want you to doubt whether what you are doing is true. Has God really sent you to plant a church? If it is God, he will do this. If it is God, he will do this. So they make you, they want you to doubt. They want you to doubt. Number two, they want to mock, their, their motive is to mock you and make you look stupid and unreasonable. You are there, one young man is sending you to go and stand in church there and then monkey the walk, baboo the chop. They want to make you confusion, make you look stupid. Hallelujah. That is their aim, but you will never be a victim of such in the name of Jesus. They want to discourage you and mislead you out of purpose and your vision. Elisha was following Elijah. They wanted him to be distracted away from getting the mantle. Discord and mislead you out of purpose. Their motive is to make you fail. To make you sin and to make you offend God in words and actions. Like the wife of Job in Job chapter 2 verse 9. One of the things that God has helped me to do while in ministry. There are days I cried. Hallelujah. But many of us will never have to cry because I've cried your tears already. Man, there are days I cried. When you see a choleric cry, it's not easy. There are days I lock up myself in the room and cry. But one thing I've never done is to be discouraged about the ministry. Yeah. Despite the comments, I've gotten comments from many people. From people like love, people that don't love, people that <laughs> people that are close, people that are far, all manner. By what I have received, you will not be hearing me today. You have followed those comments. Hallelujah. By neighbors, by people that are far, many, many, many things. Many things. It's to lead you out of purpose. Lead you out of purpose. All those comments. You can get a good guy. Your friend will make certain comment that will make you lose, lose that guy. You can have a good girl. Your friends will make certain comment that will make you lose a good girl. You can be in a good business. Certain comment will make you lose it. So the aim of commentators, they are more to make you lose. When you follow a comment of men, Elisha will never be anointed. Job will have missed it. Jesus Christ will have many comments. You will miss out. But you will never be misled in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The motive of commentators is to raise, to, to make you harm yourself. Number six is to reveal your failure and your weakness and shame to you. The next comment to reveal your weakness. All of us know that we are weak. Never mock the weakness of somebody. Hallelujah. Never mock the weakness of Jesus. Like the man on the cross mocking Jesus Christ. Calm down. Never mock the weakness of somebody. As a church planter, you people will mock you. Hallelujah. When you are in a church, when you are in a city, when you are in big cities, we have other ministers are driving good cars, they have congregation, they have followers, they have a lot of things. And then when you look at your own congregation, you look at them. These men have wealthy billionaires. When you look at your members, all of them are wearing pumps. There were, there were days when people, everybody, there was, people were not wearing shoes like this in services. I don't even remember. Even Stephen Shaky, you remember? Oh, no, no, worry. Apart from me, because I'm preaching. Sometimes even wear sandals on Wednesday. So all of us, <laughs> where you, who is in a shoe? Yeah. But well, it's changing. Some days I even, when I wear native, I feel bad because all the pastors are wearing suit. I look at myself. <laughs> because it's changing. Come on, together. If I follow the comment of people, you will not move. You will not move. Never allow people to make certain comments. They may come in to belittle you and, sh and shun you out of your blessings. 
a young lady one day told, told, told me about her business. And then the church, I was, I was really, really blessed. See, the fact that people are not even able to say what they do, to me, is really a blessing. Don't belittle what you have. Come on, out together. Celebrate it. Celebrate it. Celebrate it. Yes. We may not have millionaires, but the little one we have, we celebrate it. We may not have glass stage, but we have screen. <laughs> Come on, hallelujah. Yes. Let, see, many people will not celebrate you, so learn to celebrate yourself. Yeah, celebrate yourself. Post yourself. Sh I share my videos on YouTube on my WhatsApp and myself. If nobody will say it, I will share it. I will share it and like it and comment. Also, me that told me that one. He said, when you share your post, you like it yourself first. Yeah. If you go to all my posts, I am the first like. After I share, I will like it. I need to learn comment. Maybe, maybe you can you can comment on your own post. I can comment and say I post to what a shock. <laughs> <laughs> you don't be sure. You be sure. I can start it now. Like if you not comment, I'll comment. This preaching changed my life. Myself, the preacher. Because <sighs> if you wait for people to motivate, you will never be motivated. To you will never be motivated. Now, in the, from January to now, nobody has told me I'm handsome. Nobody, not one. Okay, my wife told me. So, so, even today, she told me the after. Don't you? In the office, she said, oh, "Why? You know, I love you." Like, yeah. She's the only person. Yeah. But I, I never have had me say that I, I, I'm, I'm handsome. You're yeah, not be hearing me say it here. Yeah, I wait. I don't. I will not wait for you. I will say it. <laughs> Charlie, I'm handsome. Anybody shorter than me is not tall. Anybody higher than me is too tall. If you have six pack, what is the use? I am, this is the perfect size. Celebrate yourself. What is the use of being fear? Why is fearness? Why, how many, how many are come out of fearness? Are? Like I am celebrating my blackness. Ah! What is it? I'm not going to America. I'm going to Abuja. Are you going to? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to places. I don't have a visa. I have driving license. The little strategy and make it celebrate it. Come on, all together. Don't allow people making useless comments to make you affect you. See, your, your videos have 25 views. Have you ever posted something online? You post something I see. You post with your own face, not somebody's face. Post your face. Let's see how many people view. Two years, somebody posts how to have 15 a million views. <laughs> a million views in YouTube. After three years, how many of you did you have? Like seven. Yeah, the one teaching people have to have a million. Have seven. After three years. You, everything looks easy. Hey! I told those, who, before we started, when I started the church, I read Bishop Dacker on his book, at the back of his books. He said he has written 50 books and he has 50 churches. After 25, after 15 years of ministry, I said, wow, after, after 15, only, only I was telling myself, only 25 churches after 15 years, only. Wow. Wow. I was saying, oh, he's not right in my mind. Only, only 2250. No, Abba, it's too small. It's too small. You should, should have done more. <laughs> <laughs> then we started. The easiest part of ministry is to look for a signboard and bring one fake vision that God spoke to you. I said, go, my son, go to the wall. And then create a Facebook page. That is the easiest part. And buy a pulpit. That is the easy, the, the most difficult part is to have live human beings. Sit down. Get in there. Every world that can work signboard. <laughs> but to have people wake up in the morning, Sunday morning by 6 a.m. bath. Do makeup. Pay transport. Come and sit down. After rehearsing in the week. That is the ministry. So we started. In Ogras, people will be plenty. Don't use that one to judge your ministry. <laughs> wait for the second service. Wait for the wait. wait. Wait for one month later. Your eye will clear. Then I began to respect fathers. That was when, when I entered your church. I see a drum. I respect you. Because I knew what it took us. They shake gate to buy a drum. But some people will enter and say, this drum is not, doesn't have mic. Ah, it's not a good drum. You, you, I know you don't know what you're talking about. That's the problem. <laughs> By the time you start, you, you want to ask how much is drum. 
And then how much is the offering to buy a drum that time? It was a miracle. But last year we bought a drum for a ministry. Do you remember? Yeah, we bought a drum for a ministry. But for us, it was not easy. It was not easy. So don't belittle the little thing you have. Are we together? Celebrate it. Celebrate your, your fiancé. Celebrate your man. Celebrate it. it doesn't, they may not have money, but celebrate them. They, 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 they may come in to put subjective thought in your head and doubt. You know, that is why I always preach on a good spouse and church planting. You remember, even last year, during loyalty and disloyalty, I said that if the wife of any of my pastors don't like me, I have a problem with it. Because she will make one comment. Women can make comment at home. Shall this shekina, shall we hear, shall? The man will just hear. Three months later, is where go and help us. This ministry, go and help us, eh? She will not say anything directly, oh. Women, if a woman don't like a friend, she can separate the two of you by comment. Stylish comment. Yeah, but the way he's talking like this, ah, this is your friend. Mm. All right. Yeah, look at the way. So she will be throwing the bomb gradually, and a little, a little, your heart is shifting. You don't know. Your heart is shifting. My wife told me to my face, she said that if not because of my relationship with Pastor Thomas, she knows of God, she will have separated us. And I knew she had the power to do it. And me, I know she can do it. I will have a problem with a problem with a problem with somebody. I have a problem with my wife. I know she can. A woman, a woman is, you see, the way I'm preaching on Wednesday and I will be, be furious like that. It's because I know what a woman can do in a pastor's life. I know. They can put suggestive thought in your... Many pastors that started churches that left their churches is because of their wives. Certain comment by their wife will make the man say, ah, but you can't do it though. You came to this city, nobody was there, you started this church from the scratch and you have 500 members. Why can't you think, you do, but the way you are, can't you think God has called you or something like that? Charlie, you be careful. Hallelujah. So be careful of the comment of people. Be careful. They will put subjective thought in your head. There was a man of God called uh, John Alexander Darwin. They came and told him, because suggestive thought will make you do something you wouldn't have done normally. You understand? Like after five years, they were telling him that he's the apostle, he's the apostle Elijah of his generation. When they told him that, he said, no, it's not possible. He rebuked it. Then years later, he was not saying, but this they are saying is true. Look at it. Who has done what I'm doing? Then he entered a train to Chicago to do what we call Elijah Declaration. That was the end of his life. But all these things started from comment of men that put thought in his head. And then he did it. So sometimes you have to silence certain statements from the beginning. I told my first lady, my daughter, that I said, see, this person, this person, this person is my friend. That is it. This person, this person are my spiritual authorities. That is it. No negative comment about them. If you don't do something like that, the person must know that never make a negative comment about this person. You must make it clear and firm. If you have a negative comment, never make it. God, my wife knows that you can never say something about the polarity. Never. Because how does she love him personally? But like, like you will never do something like that. Because you put suggestive thoughts. Because if you want to see a negative of a man, you will see it. Let me tell you something. On Sunday, don't try it because it may affect us. But if you hate a man of God, eh, say when you are going to a service, say this Sunday I will look for his problem. You will see 35 in one service. You will notice the English problem, the diction problem, the way he used to walk, his sentence. But the way he used to talk, he's too, he's too proud though. Ah! Are we children? Why is he talking to us like that? Why is he pointing his left hand and waving? Can't you see that he should use his right hand? You will see problems. You will see. I'm telling you. But when you have decided to look at the man and venerate him, you only see the good part of him. Hallelujah. So comment puts suggestive thoughts. And then so people make comment to put themselves in position of authority in your life. Like Mark, Mark chapter 8, verse 30 to 33. Peter was making a comment about Jesus Christ not dying. Jesus said, shut up. Hallelujah. And then some people make comment to, to appear informed and educated. Wow. When we are talking about rapture. Hallelujah. 
and they were talking about the epas a a a a and then the person yeah 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 it's true actually it's a because <laughs> you remember something happened on sunday Do you remember on sunday and uh, that stevie made a comment to, to look informed <laughs> <laughs> we are talking and then he, he, he made a comment and then all of us he, 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 he looked very informed but we made no more, more detail <laughs> and then Charlie we discovered that Charlie this information is not complete he went to uni then praise God how to handle comments number one ignore commentators and focus in John chapter 8 verse 6 the Bible says Jesus ignored them Ignore them. Ignore the ignoramus. Hallelujah. Ignore them. Don't answer. Number two, there are times you need to reply and openly rebuke them to set the record straight. Jesus replied Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. John chapter 3, verse 25 to 30. John also replied the disciples. Sometimes you have to openly reply commentators and shock them. And set the record straight. Hallelujah. Sometimes I have to replace certain people and tell them, see, I went to school. I did not study Hausa. I studied chemical, not just engineering. I studied chemical engineering. I did not just graduate abnormal. I graduated well. It's not because I did not get a job as a ministry. I had two job offers. I have an offer in Dangote. I have an offer in Abuja. All of them in 100 plus. I had offers. It's not because I don't have families. I was living in a tent when I have two rooms to myself at home. That time when I started. But I need to set the record clear to people. We say, because of money, you started ministry. Even because of money, I started ministry. Will I be here? Abba. Because of many money, I said, if it's money, would I go for a job? So sometimes I need to reply some ignorant people to let them know that what you are commenting about, you don't know anything about it. You don't know. You do. Sometimes you need to answer certain people that have gone too far. Gone too far. You call yourself. Sometimes you need to share your vision. I was in my room and then I saw an angel appear. When he appeared, Angel Malachi appeared. Oh, sorry. Angel. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you need to say something to so people know that you to hear God. Let's spoke to me in my left ear right now. <laughs> There's somebody in the central back seat. So you need to talk to, to, to us mysterious things. If the people don't think you're hearing God. <laughs> and I had to put the miracles we're having in Jesus on YouTube. So that people not think. And then recently I'm thinking that we need to get another camera so that we'll be capturing the faces of the people. So that people will not think I'm talking to empty chairs. Very soon, right? after buying our, our, our that's, that's the camera, put it, so that, you know that I'm talking to live human beings. Not some wood. Because there are people that sit down and talk to Wolf and be calling some fake names. So sometimes I need to set some record clear to people. Come on, now we're together. Yeah, you need to set some record clear. Number three, silence and mute their influence in their life. And let's just say, I know it, hold your peace. Hold your peace. And then number five, let your result answer them. Let your result answer them. Hallelujah. Let your result answer them. Just keep quiet. Continue. The Bible says, Wisdom is justified of her fruit. Wisdom is justified. I can never forget that my child's dedication when one person came to the church. One of the persons that mocked and made certain comments in my front, in my absence. The person made me after. Ah! How did this happen? How did they get money? I said, Okay. Your result will answer. Come on, out together. Yeah, your result will answer. Ignore the commentators. Don't, don't answer. Let your result do the answering. Let your result do the answering. Sometimes you need to rain judgment on mockers. In 2 Kings 7 verse 2, the man that mocked Elijah and make a bad comment, he said that you will see it but you will not test it. Some people need some orangulizing. And then sometimes you need to explain to people things that need to, they need to understand because see, I have always told people you can ask to know. You can ask to challenge. Do you understand? You can ask to what? Know. And then you can ask to what? Challenge. When you find somebody that asks you to know, then you can explain. You should be able to explain. Like, okay, why is it like this? Why is it that after NYC you do not get a job and you started immediately? 
when you find somebody asking you a question like that, then you can explain. So I want to know. But this one is alleging, ah, you finish, you even go, you go, like that one. You ignore that person. Okay, why is it like this? When somebody finds asking genuinely to know, that is a comment you can explain. Come on, all together. It will really help. But when you find somebody asking to challenge, ignore the person and focus on your work. Hallelujah. How many of us have learned how to respond to comments in our life? Has a comment ever affected anybody here before? What was the comment? Can somebody share his story? What was the comment that affected you? What was the comment? I only want person to share his comment. What was the comment that affected you badly? Until you overcome it. I want one person, please. Where's the mic? Stevie, when we talk, you should stand up. You are the chief usher. Somebody share his one comment that affected him badly. Hope the comment is not from me, the one you want to share. <laughs> I don't want to share a comment. Yes. Okay. Who, who made the comment first of all? My boss. Your boss. Okay, your boss. Yes. Okay, what was the comment? It was like, you just look at me, it was like, you, you never know this work. You never know this work. Yes. Hey, come to the front. <laughs> come to let, let the camera come so that you know that the life might be talking. Let them know that there's delegate. Yes. That you never know this work. <laughs> that you never know the work. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I said to First Lady one day at home, I said that if you are looking for a clean work, you can trust Stephen. Clean. Clean work. He knows his onions. That is what I've said it two times in my presence. Yeah, even before I knew Stephen. Yeah, I even said it before you. Yeah. What if he has listened to him? He gave me a gift last week. A mighty gift. From the seed of his work, like mighty gift. Yeah. I've received several seeds from his work. What if he has given up? Yeah. Don't be angry about him. Forgive him from the depth of your heart. Because when you're angry and hold the person in your heart, you will hinder your own progress. So let the people go. But just ignore them. Forgive their ignorance. I don't understand me now. Yeah. Anybody again that share, I want to share his comment. No, no, my wife, please don't be no, possible. Yes, sir. I Please come, let the camera capture it. They need to see pastors are wearing ID cards. Don't. don't, 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 don't see. Yeah, I, pastors are wearing ID cards. I could remember then, sir, mm. that we, the way I used to mention you, sir, mm. present, absent. Yes. Someone said something. Yes. He said, is it that I'm supposed to do is not wrong? Like, okay, that, is it that I don't have a problem? Like, and I said, I'm not mentioning you very well. Like, mm. let me, like, increase. Increase. What is a bottle of oil? Let me annoy this guy. <laughs> that is the way it should be. I'm looking. What are you talking about? Yeah, no, God will bless you. Hallelujah. More grace. You will never see. Ah, God bless you. Amen. Yes, that is the way it should be. What do you mean by you are not seeing problem? You got to take your seat. Increase the comment. Will you, apostle, eat apostle food? food ap eh, eh, there's an apostle of every word. Let the person go to go go to go to and hug and hug a transformer. Don't Follow any person comment. Who come and say I, I mentioned Dr. Paul in nature? How can I prove without mentioning his name? Why? I will mention Apostle Paul that is dead. I will mention Apostle Peter. The one that is alive, I will not mention his name. Why? <laughs> and no why? I will also mention the other that is dead. The one that is alive. People live away of celebrating their dead and the living are not celebrated. Why? Is there anybody that will comment and affect the person again? Just one more example. I need when people need to know like a live comment. Please, they said, I come and share like, your hands up. Pass. Please, let's close. But I will pray for us now from today. You will overcome your comment. Yes, what, what was the Oran saying? Okay, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, so um, when I finished, I kind of encountered it. was as if I was sold out to the church. Hey, as if you are so, sold out. Yes, we have bought was... you. <laughs> yes, we have bought you. Yes. Yes. So I was always coming and they're like, ah, who is even this apostle of yours? Why is it that you're always going to church? Like church, church, church. From Tuesday to Sunday, you're always in church. What's your problem? So I told them, as long as I'm in local church, hey. China is my church and I'm sold out to them. Wow. So, yes, sir. But share, it's the same thing to you. Well, I'm not the same thing. Please come and share, come and share, come and share. I know Pastor May is plenty. This one, all of them is like, <laughs> entire comment here. People not do anything with their life. Professors of comment, yes. What did they say? Okay, um, almost similar. When I came to Shekinah, yes. So there was a lady in the house. Yes. 
actually told me that I'm coming to Shekina because okay, I'm coming to Shekina. Yes, shift. The video can capture. Yes, I'm coming to Shekina because of a woman. Because of a damn self. Why? Wait, is it a wrong reason to come? You see, what I'm telling you is that they make certain wise comments. Where else will you find a woman? No, where? No, where else? Look at all the sisters in the shop, brother. Let's go look around. Where, where we will be? Hey. Is it the ATM queue? No, is it ATM you're going to be looking for? Is it here? Hey. Is, what they are saying is looking like a wise statement because of a woman. Oh, that is it. If you come to church because of a woman, it's a good reason. Yeah, it's a good reason. You can take your sister. That is what I said. There's make certain ignoramus statement. As a pastor, if they ask me, do I want my church to be more of men when I'm starting or women? I'll prefer women. Right? Because a woman will bring a lot of men. A lot of men. When they know that your church have babes, Charlie, on Sunday, boys will come. It's true. So they make up and they don't know what they're talking about at all. I hope you found a woman. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you must you must confirm that statement. Hallelujah, praise God. All right, let's be on our feet. Let's appreciate God. All this will help us as we plant churches to be able to handle the comment of men. I want you to take one minute and forgive forgive people that have made negative comment about you. Let them go. Forgive them. We are closing now. Let them go. Forgive them. Forgive them for saying what they don't know. Now ask the Lord to heal your heart from those comments. Ask the Lord to heal your heart from those comments. Ask the Lord to heal your heart. Ask the Lord to heal your heart from those comments. If you forgive them and the Lord heal your heart, the Lord will give you results that will answer them. But when you are angry and bitter towards them, you will not have the desired result. Shama landa kabra na malanda bayala na malana. Shekete balagadi. Mante kebra na malana malabaya galagada ya galagada. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for workers, leaders, and pastors. Anyone here that has been affected negatively by a comment or other Lord, you heal their heart. Remove that comment from their memory. Let them forget. Let the comment not hinder them. Let them not become bitter and angry because of those comments. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that Lord, you give them results that will answer the commentators. Grant them to be able to maintain their conviction despite the comment. Grant them the wisdom to be able to handle and relate to comment properly in the name of Jesus Christ. And I prophesy that none of you will fall down because of a bad comment from somebody in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that your businesses succeed, your conglomerates succeed, your enterprises, the churches, everything succeeds and begin to work in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you for this day of the conference. As we start tomorrow, we receive greater grace. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The compass you need has just been delivered into your hands. You can get all the anointed messages on our Telegram channel at Shekinah Encounter Center Sermons. For more inquiries, you can also call 080-6522-6276 or 080-26111. Two one one four. Remain rapturable, 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 rapturable. rapturable.